Hey everybody, Bayzad here, back again with Risa. Hey everyone. And today we've got another brand new jean to tell you all about. It's the new Firebird Selvage, the latest release, part of the Naked and Famous Denim Fall Winter 2022 collection. As always, we're gonna tell you everything you need to know about them, all the specs, details, how they came to be, our thoughts and opinions, where you're gonna be able to find a pair, some other stuff probably. So stick around all the way to the end of the video so you'll learn absolutely everything. And before we get into that, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with all of our latest content and uh, ramblings and such. So uh, with that said, Risa is gonna get us started as always with the specs. Mm -hmm. So Firebird Salvage is a 15 and a half ounce Japanese salvage denim. So it's a midweight denim and it's 100% cotton and it's made with slug yarns. And as you can see, this has an amazing texture that you you can see from up already. Yeah, so this texture, we call it a flamey texture. I don't know if that's a technical term or not, but we tend to refer to denims that have this kind of high and low saturation throughout as a flamey looking denim. And that's because when they fade, you're gonna get a lot of kind of vertical streaks running up and down mm -hmm. this fabric. And now the way we achieve this look is basically three things. So first is the use of slub yarns. And if you're a veteran to this, uh, you know, YouTube channel, then you probably know what that is. But if you're new, uh, a slub yarn is a type of yarn that is really, really fat in some parts and skinny in the others. And when you dye this yarn, the thicker parts absorb more indigo, the thinner parts absorb less indigo. And when you weave with it, ultimately you get these areas where you have darker parts and lighter parts. And the lighter parts also, because it's the thinner part of the yarn, you see more of the weft side of the fabric. So the inside of the fabric, which is white. So that shines through a little bit more, which helps create this contrast, mm -hmm. right? In addition, we do something called low tension weaving. So that's where we take the fabric and when it's being woven on shuttle looms, which are already slow, uh, they basically set them to run even slower and that creates this type of uneven weave throughout the fabric. So you can see it's not very uniform at all. On a typical denim, it's very clean, very straight. On a selvage denim, it tends to be maybe not as perfect, but on a low tension wo woven denim, you get this really, really crazy looking weave here. And it's kind of meant to represent hand woven fabrics mm -hmm. combined with the low tension, so the low tension weaving combined with the uh, irregularly spun yarns, that's what creates this really, really beautiful, mm -hmm. uh, flamey looking denim. Right, and what I like about it is that, like, I'm sure it's going to fade amazingly, but even before that, when it's raw, you can see something oh, yeah. is different from afar. Like, somebody would, you know, see it from across the street yeah. and can find, see something. This is, is the kind of denim that somebody definitely will stop you and ask you what's going on. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's ever happened to you. It certainly happened to me. Let me know if it has happened to you in the comment section below and let me know which pair you are wearing. Mm -hmm. Now, another neat thing about this denim is that despite the fact that it is a slubby denim, it's also a very smooth denim, mm -hmm. right? It's a very comfortable denim. And that low tension weaving makes this denim not particularly rigid. Mm -hmm. And the smoothness comes from the samphorization process. So our, the samphorization process is a mechanical shrinking process, which we basically take the fabric, it goes through a set of hot rollers and it compresses the fabric down. So those slub yarns get pushed down just a little bit to even out the surface texture. So you get a very, very soft, smooth feel, which is very nice. Now, over time, those slub yarns will plump up a little bit with wash and wear. So you will get a little bit more 3D texture as you wear it, but to start off, very, very soft, very, very smooth, very comfortable, easy to break in jeans. Right. Especially for the weight, 15 and right. a half ounces. It's a, it's a pretty heavy, it's a, it's a high number, mm -hmm. but you don't have to be scared so much because of the low tension weave and the, uh, the smooth texture. It's just gonna be, it feels like a buttery yeah. you know, 13 ounce. It, yeah, of it does. It's a, it's a good step up if you're coming from a like a left hand twill or a dirty fade selvage. If you wanna get into a slubby denim for the first time or for the fifth time, wherever you are in your, your rod denim journey, this is a great option for you. Mm -hmm. Now, I just wanna share the sound of this denim right. because typically a slubby textured denim is gonna give you a rumbly sound and you're just not gonna get that with this. So let's check that out. Yeah, I don't hear that like really harsh. Yeah, that gritty, gritty kind sound. of noise. So yeah. uh, very, very comfortable. Mm -hmm. And now the Firebird Selvage is gonna be available in our three main menswear fits. So you've got the super guy, you've got the weird guy, and you've got the easy guy. Plus you've got the denim jacket, which I'm wearing right now. Very, very comfortable. I have to say for a slubby denim, I have to really emphasize how comfortable this is, mm -hmm. especially for the weight. Now, the, the other thing about the weight is that it's a great 
wait for the fall winter season. Mm -hmm. um, if you're thinking about these for the spring summer, I would say you could definitely do it if you're a little bit more of a raw denim veteran or you really want to push yourself. Right. Mm -hmm. I, I've worn heavier weight denims in the spring summer. I, I personally have no problem with that. But uh, I would say that for the fall winter, it's a great weight option that'll get you through, you know, whether you're inside or, or inside or outside. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a lot of transitional spaces in that time of year. Uh, it's a great weight for that. Right. Right. Now, let's go over the details of right. this jean. And we'll start off with the beautiful leather patch that we have here. It's a thick buffalo leather mm -hmm. and uh we don't use that on too many jeans but i do enjoy it when we do yeah uh we also it's have a nice color oh yeah not just with the contrast stitching it's very um very folly mm -hmm. right yeah and uh yeah and on the inside we also have the copper rivets and these are all made for us custom by ykk you've got the jetador tout new on the rivets you've got naked and famous denim on the buttons and on the inside we also have that classic red line selvage id on the inside here mm -hmm. now I'm trying to remember if I forgot anything. I think we covered it. I think we covered it all. Mm -hmm. So um, with that said, we these will be available at select Naked and Famous Denim retailers this Friday. We've got a link in the description below with a complete listing of retailer availability, as well as a blog post so you can see more photos and things like that. Great, great in-depth photos. Um, I've lost my train of thought, but that's okay. We're going to leave it there. So uh, if you like this kind of content, you like our videos, if you like me forgetting what I'm about to say, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and we will see you guys in the next video. All right. Bye-bye, everyone. Guys.